Hey everybody, this is uh, I believe part three of um, my Clockwork Empire's Revision 34 playthrough. I'm continuing on in the new Sogwood colony, hoping to see some new stuff. Uh, oh, I've got bandits incoming. Ah, just three bandits. My military can take them, I think. I actually did not fight the last two waves of bandits that came in, because at that time I only had three military and there were six bandits. Now, if you don't fight the bandits, you'll lose one prestige, but more importantly, the bandits will not hunt and kill your military. Each bandit takes one thing. So I, at the time I was thinking, um, I've got a bunch of stuff, and at most they're going to take six things. I can live with that. I'm, I guess I'm kind of okay trading that for, you know, the continued survival of my colony. Where are you going, Mr. Vicar? With your block of wood? Uh, stone? Assemble creepy shrine, huh? Looks like I have a cultist vicar. Oh, he's very culty. Oh, he prayed and spread the true knowledge of forbidden things. And he had conversations about foul and pestilent architecture. Well, this colony is going straight down the toilet. Someone's starving. Minerva Will. I had plenty of food, but Minerva Will appears to be stuck in a wall. Oh dear. Well, nothing to be done. Um, these kind of things will happen, unfortunately. Uh, again, this game is in not even in beta, so it's in alpha. There are all kinds of bugs and crashes and things. Uh, but it's in remarkably good shape, all things considering. Um, saving and loading is a little bit hit or miss. Uh, occasionally there are geometry bugs. Uh, most common, I think, are the bugs where people are pathfinding bugs, where people get stuck like in the gap between the sawmill and the wall, and they'll starve to death. Those are typically not game-breaking. Um, I mean, they're not... They're a little bit frustrating, um, but I mean, it's, it's, it's improving all the time. It's much better than it used to be. Uh, anyway, what was the next thing we were going to build? Uh, oh yes, some booze. Where am I going to build my booze? Well, I'd like to close off the loop, but there's some important coconut plants growing here and a bunch of resource nodes. So I believe I'll build my booze facilities over here instead. Actually, I hope I have the resources. Oh, I'll certainly be able to build... Um, I'll certainly be able to build uh, the facilities that allow me to brew chicha, but not moonshine. The refinery required to make moonshine uh, requires a lot of machined parts, which I can't do without sort of uh, smelting uh, in metal smithing facilities. But I can brew chicha with these simple uh, brewing bats, which require only wood. As I get more resources, uh, maybe then I can revisit this building and build a still. But until then, my colonists will have to make do with corn... a corn liqueur, I guess? What the... or whatever the uh, beer equivalent of corn is. Corn beer? I, I, I don't actually know what chicha is. I'm just going to assume the devs know and have, you know, given it like a real world... it's modeled on a real world beverage. Also, I noticed earlier looking at my stockpile that I'm completely out of logs. Although I do have some planks. I can call in a favor. Um, still don't want any more criminals. If I had the prestige, I would consider taking another naturalist. Or if I had a bunch of prestige, I would consider taking redcoats. Fishman. Oh dear. Chasing my scientist. Supply drop, what do I need? Um, I think I'm okay for food, and I'm going to take guns this time. Fishman alert. 
that's uh, that's it. Run toward my military. Soldiers, please rescue my scientist. Excellent. Fish sticks for everyone. Or, you know, for the, the two fastest colonists. Let's take a look at the job menu. See all these hunt orders? Um, those, each of those represents one animal I flagged with the hunt um, order, or the hunt job. But then they uh, didn't stick around close enough to civilization. So the hunt, uh, so my soldiers didn't hunt them because they were too far away. But the job stays on the job menu. I guess they're harmless in that it doesn't affect what my soldiers how uh, what my soldiers do. And if these these specific animals wander back into town, they will be hunted to death. But until then, they stay on this menu and can't be cancelled and make it a little bit messy. I've actually got very few active jobs going. I think my colonists need more to do. Well, I guess they're busy building the the brewery. Then get started on my metal smithing facilities as well. Actually, you know what? I need to find more wood. These are all coconut palms, um, so they don't provide lumber. There's some lumber. It's dangerously far from civilization. Um, but I don't really have any choice. I need wood. Please don't take that the wrong way. I do have plenty of corn. Corn and coconuts. So here's some of my uh, flax harvested earlier. Just sitting in my stockpile. There's another non-food stockpile. So in addition to all the obvious new, cool new stuff that gets added with every patch, I mean a bunch of, there's always a bunch of bug fixes that goes into, you know, as bugs get reported or are revealed by the devs, uh, they get patched. So there have, stability is better than it was, I mean it's still not perfect. Um, saving and loading has a, a way to go, but it's been working a little bit better than it was before. Um, chapels work now. <laughs> Like chapels and vicars, they uh, they didn't they didn't work properly in between 33 and 34. Um, one change is that your military no longer uses but these crates are generic like abstract crates of combat supplies instead of crates of bullets, and your soldiers no longer track how many bullets they have. Um, instead, they will have a combat buff when their NCO or their superior is in possession of a creative combat supplies. Uh, that's, that's something the devs did deliberately. Um, they wanted to bring the combat mechanics more in line with their philosophy of um, macro management, right? As opposed to micro management. They want, to, uh, they want the player to take on the role of the colonial manager. Uh, so they don't want to penalize people who aren't going to micro every little thing. Instead, they want to uh, they want the games uh, they want the, the game to benefit from establishing a robust supply chain, uh, which I think is a pretty interesting uh, direction to take. And I have raiders incoming. Four raiders. I think we can take them. Oh, someone's visiting a shrine. What the? Uh, well, that's something soldiers will do as soon as an axe murderer is... Uh, or someone takes on the murder job, the act of murder job, they will be automatically flagged for frontier justice by your military. Which is uh, what happened here. 
Though I'm not quite sure why the victim was walking toward the cult altar. I believe he was also a cultist. Um, fish people incoming. Three fish people and... And, uh... Phalanx of Raiders. We should be okay, I think. Possibly not. This, uh, hmm. this soldier was killed by the incoming raiders. Yeah, the incoming raider. Oh look, it's a raider, a colonist, a soldier, and a fishman. Just lost another militiaman. has broken. So my colonists will resume their jobs. Wave of immigrants. Let's see what I need. Um, I think I'll take three of anyone actually at this point. Ooh, a little bit of stuttering there. Uh, that happens, you'll see a lot of stuttering and graphical glitches like this one uh, when the work crew menu is open. Uh, the devs know about that one. They, I mean, they've, they've been trying to improve performance in that regard. Hey, Mr. Snail. It's my better judgment. I'm going to mark him for hunting as well. Uh, hmm, my military strength is a little bit lacking. I only have two squads of three each. But I'm a little bit more cavalier about losing guys because I... Uh, basically they can be very rapidly replaced. You know what? I don't need a squad in the uh, in the lab right now. There's nothing for them to research. But I, so I've emptied. So I've unassigned the squad from here. I am, however, going to assign a squad to the brewery. Uh, the former vicar, in fact. Let's see if you can maintain ten beer or ten chicha at all times. Because I will soon, um, I'll soon have the materials required to brew beer, or chicha. Don't know why I keep saying beer. Show that they'll be clamoring to sleep in the brewery. That'll use up all my remaining cloth. Um, I'm not too concerned. I mean, I've got flax stockpiled if I need more cloth. Actually, let's assign a sign. So I had a squad assigned to the textile workshop here, but because I don't intend to make cloth, or process flax into rolls of cloth for the foreseeable future, I'm going to unassign the crew that's in there and let them do whatever. Basically, the spontaneous jobs that pop up. So burial, foraging, hauling, forestry, that sort of thing. I've got, basically, I want a number of floating crews available to just um, do whatever at a moment's notice. Like, there's not really any point leaving crews that are just going to be idle assigned to a workshop. So the food situation seems okay, although... Given that we have 30 people, all of who need to eat at least once a day, I'm going to bump up the amount of uh, my standing order for stew. I guess I'll forge these. So I guess the next step, um, barring anything unexpected, will be to uh, ramp up my metal production facilities, and after that, 
maybe build a uh, chemist chemist shop. So then I can consider making things like fertilizer, landmines, uh, and military supplies. One unfortunate side effect of letting cultism go, you know, run rampant in town, is the widespread planting of the malfeasant claw bulb. Although I'm, you know, I don't have a problem with the amount of cult power in town, malfeasant claw bulbs to they do displace legitimate food crops. Right, um, well, let's cut this one a little bit shorter. And the colonist, colony is still humming along nicely. So I'm going to pause this one here. Um, unfortunately, we still haven't dug up any mysterious artifacts. Um, but maybe next time. So, thanks for watching. My, uh, once again, my name's Alfred. The game is Clockwork Empires. This is version 34. Available for purchase on Steam. Published by, or being developed by Clockwork Empires. It's currently 10% off. Until January 2nd. Great. Have a good one.